Hey Jonesy Babes and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about the mask and Nesto. Because I think he played a lot of characters. Everybody that he met got the chance to see a different part of him. And some not in a good way. So one of my Jonesy Babes said, I want to know about the full skull black leather zippered mask found in his truck. Who was wearing it? Him? Okay, so for who? Is Shirley a dominatrix? <laughs> no. Or is Sonia? Was Sonia wearing the mask? Or maybe that mask belonged to... <sighs> but I'm serious. <laughs> okay, okay. And now I want to know too. So I'm kind of nosy as well. We all know that Mother Strawberry is not a dominatrix. We already know that. She is not into that kinky stuff. She don't even have a fetish. You know, she eat her berries, her strawberries, her raspberries and blueberries and stuff like that. She goes on her walks. She's not thinking about all of that. And I don't think he handled her in that kind of way. I don't think he even let her see him with that stuff. Okay. Because she gets off like bougie. So I don't put that doesn't mean nothing because let me tell you something. Them church women and bougie girls, they be into that kind of stuff. Oh, they be the both freaky dicky ones. But I don't for surely I don't see it for her. I don't see that for her at all. So we're gonna X her out. Okay. Now Sonia. Oh baby. I could see it with them. I could. I, her little behind, he probably put, he probably spin her like a little spinning top. <laughs> Remember them little tops you played with when you was a kid? <laughs> you wind it up and it spins on the floor. Yeah, he probably spin her like a spinning top, child. Those two, now I could see it for them. You know, I could see him handling her all rough and she climbing all the top of his head and all on top of his back like a spider monkey. I could I could see it. I, I really they would have a ball in the bedroom probably. Because I they both seem that way. I don't know about older nest though now, but you know, I yeah, I think they would have had a time before. You know, she would have been like, Thank you for a funky time. Call me up whenever you wanna grind. <laughs> He was like, come back, Sonya, come back. Let me stop. <laughs> but yeah, I could, <coughs> excuse me, I could, <clears throat> I can definitely see it for Sonya. <clears throat> it's hot in here. But anyway, so I want to know what character does he turn into when he, you know, plays those games? You know what I'm saying? Does he feel like a beast or some type of sexual tyrannosaurus? Like, how does he feel when he wear that stuff? It's a reason why he have it. Now, we all know that we heard stories about him using it on somebody, and I'm not. We're not even going to talk about that. But I think he did have willing people that participated in those type of acts with him. Okay. Because I can't just see him having it just to have it. I think he had people that was into that kind of stuff. You know? Everybody saw a different part of Nesto. You had the business Nesto, the one that's always giving motivational talks. And he's infatuated with Denzel. Because you can tell on his channel, on his um page. You have that Nesto. Um... Also on his page, he's kind of fatherly to his children, to, you know, pictures. Nesto, we have the con man, Nesto. And then we got this Nesto, this dark, dark, dark Nesto <laughs> who wears, you know, leather masks with zippers and liquid V in his bag and all these toys. So I think he knows women that's into that kind of stuff and that's where he's getting his rocks off from. Okay? Kind of remind me of Al Pacino when he played in Cruising. Have you guys seen that movie? Baby, that was that movie was something else. 
that movie was something else. But anyway, so yeah, I always wanted to know why did he have that in his truck? Why did he, you know, ride around with that stuff? Why he didn't put it away until it was, you know, he found somebody he was going to use it on? I mean, unless he was getting phone calls throughout the day saying, hey, you know, you know, come give it to me right. And he he pops us on the scene. So you just never know. You just never know. But I do think he played a lot of different characters. Everybody that knew Nesto saw a different part of him. And that mask, that's a whole different side of Nesto with that mask and, you know, um, Liquid V and toys. I'm surprised that's all you found in there. I'm surprised you didn't find a cat of nine tail in there, you know, or whip or something, or some type of nipple ring pullers or whatever. I don't know. Cock rings. I'm surprised you didn't find none of that stuff in there. You know, I'm surprised that the whole pink pussycat bag is not in <laughs> wasn't in there. So you just never know. You just never know what that man, what he was into. Mm-mm-mm. You know what? I really wish I could ask him. Like, for real. Like, if I had a conversation with Nesto, I would ask him all the questions that I have in my head. I would ask him just to see if he would answer. You get what I'm saying? I, I would ask a lot of... I would try to get into his mind and um, let him tell me things about his childhood, his parents. You know, that's what I want to do. That's the conversation I want to have with him. And then we can move on to other things, you know? I watch a lot of true crime and, and, you know, stuff about getting into the mind of a serial killer. I like that kind of stuff. So I think I could pick his mind if he allowed me to. <laughs> I would love to ask him a few questions, like for real. But anyway, but yeah, I think that black bag with the mask and liquid V and those toys, that was dark Nesto. Oh, dark Nesto. Yep, that's who I think it was. That's that was that was darkness though right there. He was doing some old freaky deaky stuff with some women that participated in that behavior. That's what I think. I really do. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Cause you know, there's a lot of people out there that's into that kind of stuff. And you can meet them online and you can go into these places and you see all the, the the house of pain or whatever you want to call it or the house of pleasure and they go in there and they get tied up on the wall and beat down and kicked into the nuts all types of stuff that be going down now in those kind of places so i wonder if he ever participated in that but see nestor i think he's like the person that like to give the pain or feels like he in control he want to take control of you he want to roughhouse you he wants to throw you over here and throw you over there and ping you down and just that's what i think that dark nesto i think that's what dark nesto do yeah that's what i think but anyway <laughs> i know this conversation was all over the place and you probably didn't expect it but let's talk about it okay let's talk about it anyway i will talk to you guys later